What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Persona 5 Phantom X on PC with an auto translate mod and it works very well. And I'm gonna show you guys how well it works. Honestly, everything is translated. The translations are really good and there's no annoying like text over the other text. It completely replaces all of the Korean text. I'm not gonna show you how to do the Chinese version. It's gonna be the Korean version, which I believe is like a month or two behind the Chinese version. Not a big deal because the Chinese version is just was really hard for them to translate. Not to mention to play the Chinese version, you need a Chinese ID, which is very annoying and difficult to do, especially if you don't know how to do it. The Korean version, literally, all you got to do is go to the Korean website, which I'll leave a link down below. You'll click the link, download the game, put it on your PC and click on it, <laughs> open it and it installs. Very, very simple. You can even use your own, you know, Gmail if you're from the United States or from Europe. You can use your own Gmail, don't have to live in Korea, don't have to use VPN, none of that, and it will create your account for you, and then I'll show you guys how to put the auto-translate mod in the game. It's very, dude, it is so simple. And you can play on PC, and you can start playing it right now. I can do a separate video for mobile. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do one for mobile. It's honestly pretty simple. You just go on uh, Ku app and download the, you know, the Korean version, and just use a on-screen translator app that you can find the app store. It's honestly pretty simple. But if you want me to show you the process, uh, you know, leave a comment down below if you want me to show you how to do it on Android. Unfortunately, you can't really do it on iOS because they don't have stuff like that. But I can show you guys how to do it on Android. Okay, first things first, when you have it installed, I have it installed in my SSD. You can install it on your hard drive, where you want, on your desktop. I have it in my SSD. You're going to click on Persona 5X here, and you're going to open the Korean launcher. Once you open the Korean launcher, it's going to ask you yes, your admin administration. And it's just gonna do an update. And what you're gonna wanna do is update the launcher. Make sure the launcher is updated because if you do not update the launcher, you will not have this file here that says client. So first you need to open the launcher and you need to update the launcher. It'll have a long little uh, you know, download little bar here. Once it's done, it'll prompt you to click the arrow to open Persona 5 uh, Phantom X. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna close the game when you do that, and then you are going to download the file that I have on a Google Drive, and I'll leave the link to that Google Drive in the description down below. You guys can just click on that and download it from there. It's very, very simple. Shout out to the uh, Persona 5 Phantom X Discord, the worldwide Discord, because uh, that is where I found all the info. I'll leave the link to their Discord down below as well. It was very helpful, very easy figure out how to download this okay and once you have that zip file installed and you extract all of it because what you're going to do is you're going to get the zip file you're going to click on this and you're going to hit extract all once you extract the files you're going to go over to this auto translator folder and you're going to click in it you're not going to just copy and paste the folder you need to go inside the folder you're going to click all of these okay and you're going to drag all of that or just hit copy and you're going to open persona 5 phantom x you're gonna open the client folder, which you should have after updating the launcher and closing the game. And then, you, and make sure you also close out in the taskbar too, because you're probably gonna to wanna to completely close out the game to make sure that the translation files install properly. And then you're going to go to PC. And then once in PC folder, you're going to just paste everything in this folder and it'll all be in here. Now, one very important thing, this is why you gotta watch the video and watch step by step there's this file right here at the bottom that's called a win http sometimes when you're installing the game when you're updating the game when there's an update not the launcher when you when you're in the game and it's doing an update in the game like most gotchas do it will go to 99 percent and hit 100 and it'll say installation failed that is nothing you're doing wrong it's just sometimes this file so what you're gonna wanna do is delete this file right here, this winhttp file, delete the file, open the game, install the game, and it'll install fine after that. And then once the game is updated, you're gonna close it again. You won't have to do this many times, hopefully. Probably just a one-time thing. And then, you know, maybe if there's a huge update every once in a while, you might have to delete this file, put it back in kind of thing. So make sure you save the auto translator folder. Don't just delete it after you copy and paste it in here. And then you're gonna go back to the auto translator folder. You're gonna get that file, the win HTTP folder, uh, file, sorry. And you're just gonna put it back in here. And then you're gonna just open the game and everything should work properly. So let me show you guys how it looks 
once everything's translated and show you guys proof that this works properly. And you can play this on PC. I'm pretty sure that it's possible to plug in a controller. I saw people using a controller. I'm probably just gonna use, uh, I'm probably just gonna use my mouse keyboard to be honest. Atlas. Atlas. Black Wings it. Black Wings it. <laughs> Uh, can you tell I've heard this many times? <laughs> Trying to make sure everything works. There we have it. The game is open. I already updated it, so that's why you didn't see any update. I updated it this morning. Dude, honestly, the animations for this are so damn good. They are so good. So as you see, everything here, uh, sometimes these won't be fully translated, right? Because uh, this is like a separate file in the game. And like it's it's like a pop up uh, like pop out window, so this doesn't get translated. But uh, for the most part, you could just like translate this in your phone or go look at the website, and because all this stuff is just notices uh, that get posted on the website or their Twitter, right? So you can just translate that on Twitter or translate that on their website. For the most part, everything else should be translated. And uh, just so you guys know, this is a completely new cast. This is not the same cast uh, from Persona Five. They did do a Persona Five collab where you could get the characters from Persona Five. Oh, we're in the blue room, the velvet room. And th there's a lot of cutscenes in this, man. Uh, I'm very early on. I've seen so many cutscenes already. But as you can see, all this is translated up here already. It's in Japanese voice acting with English subtitles. Whale. Yeah, that's going to be me when the game comes out. <laughs> as you can see, it doesn't like put a bar over the text like the korean text it just completely replaces it this mod is amazing like huge shout outs to the, to the people that are working on this mod this is fucking amazing and that's not that was the cutscene so it's not just a cutscene that's translated like that i'll show you right there so it completely the names for some reason don't get translated but i mean we know who they are right igor and the, your characters in the menu are translated. I can show you guys that too. Meropa. She is beautiful. I like her a lot. But I want to show you guys in battle too, because I know that's where it's going to be very important. People are like, oh, I want to make sure I know what skills I'm using. So let me get to the combat. Also, I just wanted to point out, uh, if you press the tab button and open up right here, if you press tab or click on this, you can completely look at what that you missed and everything's still translated. Okay. Uh, this is an amazing mod. As you can see, even the tutorials are also completely translated. So even all the achievements, everything's translated here. Okay. Very, very good. So we got one of the achievements. It sometimes takes a second. So you, there you go. But once it translates once, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do it again. Also, I do want to show you guys something real quick. Okay. One option that you want to turn off because there is, go I think it's like 500,000 words that it translates or something before you have to like uninstall like delete the files of the mod uh the auto translator and then like reinstall it uh what you're gonna want to do is go to down to gameplay i believe and you're gonna want to turn off push messages okay these are the messages that pop up on the bottom left hand corner uh just like random shit that doesn't matter uh you don't need to get that translated just turn that off and you can use wasd just like any game Dude, the owl is so badass. Bro's using Tonfus. <laughs> oh my god. This is where we're about to see the combat. You're also about to see the reveal of how he gets his powers, I believe. Damn. So in this in this persona, they literally drain your life force. So like the shadows steal your desires completely. This is a very cool scene for them to get their powers. Shigaraki's voice actor? Dude, the way that the storytelling in this is very good. I'm, I'm going to show you guys the, the, 
combat, but I thought this was a cool thing to show you guys how awesome the cutscenes are. To make you want to download even more. It's so good. I won't give up now. Oh, Shigaraki's voice actor is his persona. There it is, dude. Oh, and we get an animated cutscene for this one. His mask is sick. Take off the mask. You guys ready for a banger of a theme song? The, the, the battle music is different in this. <laughs> he looks badass, dude. Holy shit. His fit is sick. Dude, his fucking persona is badass like two gun blades it's like two guns with axes on them dude that's gotta be one of the sickest design personas ever thou art i Oh, that's badass, dude. <laughs> it's not this battle music that's different. It's the boss battle music, but yeah. Let's, okay, let's show you guys the translations in the battle. <laughs> Wait, he has a sword? Oh, he's got a dagger, okay. Oh, okay, he just finishes with a gun, okay. Agi, yeah, see, all the spells are, are being translated to. So, everything is translated here, as you can see. And the persona is to capture them, I believe, or use a skill. See, all the skills are also translated. All, what they do is translated. Such a good mod, man. They do such an amazing job with this. And even everything that you get for winning the fight is translated. Every everything, literally everything in the game is auto translated. So you can play this game completely fine with I mean Japanese voice acting, but the Japanese voice acting in these games are always amazing. Um, if not better, you know. I love English voice acting in persona games, but yeah, as you can see works perfectly fine now if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to show you how to install a controller uh or use a controller when you're playing i can uh figure it out and, and make a video for you guys as well and like i said if you want me to do a video on mobile how to get it working on your mobile device i have it on my android i've been playing it on my android uh it does not work as well as it does on pc on android what you're going to need to do is download an auto translator app uh, but it's gonna have to be like it'll auto translate and like kind of be a different subtitle bar on your screen or 
there's going to be a button you press like a bubble uh that that you tap to translate the entire screen then you have to get rid of it and then get, do it again for the next thing and the next subtitle and the next subtitle and the next subtitle so it's not like this where every single thing is auto translated so it's definitely way better to play on pc but if you don't have that option you guys want to play it on mobile i can do a video for you guys for that as well thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this hit the like button subscribe if you have not already and ring that notification bell be notified for more gotcha game news we got a lot of them coming out i'm also going to do a video like this for heaven burns red uh because that game is really really good it is getting a global version soon if you guys do want to it is pretty sh i'm pretty sure it's all japanese voice acting even in a global version we'll see maybe they have english voice acting but it is an awesome game. It's probably one of the best uh, Japanese gacha games I have ever played. The story is very, very good. Very like military high school style, kind of like Trails of Cold Steel. So if you like games like that, you will definitely like Heaven's Burn Red. If you guys want me to do a video on that one too, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm also going to be doing a lot of content on Girls Frontline 2 when it comes out. I'm probably going to make a separate channel for that, to be honest. And Swords of Convalaria that's coming out within uh, less than a week from now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.